Um, Brexit. Um, so, as I said from the beginning of breakfast, Brexit, Brexit was a great opportunity for the UK to basically abandon the regulatory regime of the European Union and to eliminate regulation. It could also be an opportunity to set up the UK as a free trade island um, and, and get away from the immigration restrictions that uh, the European Union, oh, sorry, the trade restrictions that the European Union had, had put in place. And a lot of the supporters, or some of the supporters of Brexit, those are the arguments they made, that, that it's about getting rid of regulation, it's about increasing trade, it's about all these things. Um, now, Brexit has happened. Brexit has happened. And then, uh, you know, and, and we sit here and continue to wait for all the good stuff to happen that was promised as a result of Brexit. Uh, getting rid of all the European regulations, uh, getting, you know, establishing free trade policies. And there being been some movement of free trade. I mean, the UK did what I think the United States didn't do under Trump, which is your, uh, join a free trade uh, deal in the, in the Pacific Ocean. One of the massive mistakes of the Trump administration was, was rejecting uh, uh, top. Uh, the UK has joined, um, has joined uh, top or something similar to top. But generally, it still hasn't lived up to its promise of free trade island. And then on top of that, when, um, when uh, the current prime minister, Sunak, of UK came in, he, he promised, and actually the conservatives passed a law that said that by the end of this year, by the end of 2023, all 6,000 or 8,000 regulations that had been adopted by the UK um, because of the European Union, Right? because of the European Union, uh, embraced by the UK uh, as part of the deal with the European Union, all of those would be eliminated. Uh, and the UK would draw up its own regulations, that, which would be supposedly a lot leaner and a lot more effective and a lot more efficient and a lot more pro-business, let's say, than the European Union ones. Uh, last week, uh, the uh, UK government said that it was uh, changing its mind. They would not do away with all... 6,000, 4,000, however many regulations there were, because it was too difficult, it was too hard. Uh, they were afraid that by eliminating all the regulations so fast, they would make mistakes and bad stuff would happen and business wouldn't be ready. And, 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 and yeah, bad stuff would happen, right? Because, why? Because uh, they were getting rid of the regulations too fast. So instead, they've decided to get rid of 600 specific laws that will be revoked. Now, 600 is better than nothing, but it's not as good as 4,000. I, for one, have no problem in thrusting uh, the government into a position where, oh my God, all these regulations have disappeared. What are we going to do now? Business can cope quite well, amazingly well, actually, even when uh, they were in, uh, in, uh, in a position where suddenly the regulations have disappeared and they don't know what to do. So I wouldn't worry about business in that um, uh, in that context. Um, and uh, so anyway, so uh, the UK is moving a little bit in that direction, but nowhere near as much as it could. Uh, I'll still take the 600. Uh, one of the real aims of some of this is to, I'll put it this way, one of the things the, the EU is clearly signaling through its regulatory regimes is a disinterest in innovation, technology, and progress. So it, it, it is basically adopting the precautionary principle where you can't adopt anything new unless you can guarantee 100% that it doesn't increase risk. Um, uh, that's the precautionary principle. Uh, the EU is, is finding big tech. The EU basically is discouraging innovation. Uh, the UK wants to take a different stance. It wants to encourage it. It wants to support it. It wants to embrace innovation and embrace tech. It still wants to break up big tech. And the, the, uh, I think it was the UK regulatory agency that prevented Microsoft from buying that gaming company in the name of protecting uh, competition. Just absurd and ridiculous. It, that like, There are now like eight, ten different regulatory agencies that can put a kibosh on a merger People, people accuse us of having a free market. 
right? And all these problems caused by a free market. What free market are we talking about? The free market where regulated, regulators can tell me whether I can merge or not merge with another company? God. Anyway, the UK does have a path here to become an innovative uh, innovation center uh, of Europe and, and basically separate itself from the European Union by uh, having laws and regulations in place and tax code in place that does not discourage innovation, startups, uh, technology, business. Uh, UK has always had um, uh, a pretty good policies with regard to biotech. And if you remember Dolly the Sheep that was cloned, they, they did a lot of kind of uh, cutting edge biotech stuff. Hopefully they can get back to that once now that they've left the European Union and not are not uh, under the boot of European Union regulation. So there really is an opportunity here for the UK to separate itself and, and to, become, to become a real beacon. But it's going to have to move pretty quickly, um, and it's going to have to do things that are pretty dramatic and significant, particularly on the regulatory front. And I just wonder if this government and, and the next government, which is likely to be a Labour government, have what it takes to, to achieve that, have what it takes to be successful with it. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.